it can be something that makes me dance, it can be something that makes me really happy, it can be something that makes me cry. <laughs> but yeah, it's a way of expressing emotions and I, I think it's really important and really awesome. My name is Domino, I'm from Montreal, Canada, and I play the drums. My name is Charlie Clauser and I'm a musician from Cologne. My name is Hannah Trigwell, I'm from Leeds in the UK and I play acoustic and electric guitar and I sing. My name is Julia and I'm coming from Austria. I'm playing the electric bass guitar and the cello. I'm Laura, I'm from Slovakia and I play the bass, the guitar and the piano. Hi guys, I'm Alexandra Dieva. I'm a saxophone player and I'm from Macedonia. Singing and dancing around to Disney songs. I think I remember singing some songs from Beauty and the Beast and Aladdin, but I'm not sure whether she's put that memory into my head or not. I just remember many moments when I was lying underneath a grand piano um, where my mother was playing on it and I was lying underneath and painting pictures to the music. I can't really remember that specific moment, but I do remember that I've been surrounded by music since I know about myself. I was singing in my kindergarten when I was, I think, four years old, maybe. I was really lucky because I always had the music studio at my parents' house. Music was everywhere in our house and we had a rehearsal room in our cellar. I first got into music by listening to music and I wanted to create something that was as beautiful and something that connected with people emotionally. Like this music made me feel emotional and I wanted to make something like that, something that had that effect on other people. I want it that way. Tell me why. My very first instrument was the recorder. My first musical instrument was piano. Surprisingly, not the drums, it was the violin. Violin and piano. A recorder, I think. The first instrument I learned was the cello, and I have to say thank you to my mother because she introduced me to that instrument. She told me that there is a new cello teacher and he's really nice, and if I want to go there and try this out, and I did that and I loved it and yes, I went to the music school playing cello like 10 years. Wow, crazy. My older sister, she also played a few instruments and I was always so jealous, always wanted to play the, the instruments she's playing. I mean, I think I was not really good at that time, but um, I really wanted to play violin, so just try a lot. <laughs> For me, it always was combined with fun and creativity. It's like my partner is, so it means absolutely everything to me. It can be something that makes me dance, it can be something that makes me really happy, it can be something that makes me cry. <laughs> But yeah, it's a way of expressing emotions and I, I think it's really important and really awesome. It never made me think about do, doing anything else and the feel, it is exquisite and irreplaceable. I would tell my younger self not to be too demanding and judging with myself. When I started playing music, I was really hard with me and I realized with the time that you just need to enjoy what you are doing. Music is there so that you feel happy. I suggest being patient and to explore until you find the perfect instrument for yourself. Many parents think, oh, you have to stick to that instrument, you have to stay there, but you never know which is the right one for you and only if you try you can find out uh, what fits to you and what makes you happy. Before learning an instrument, I would tell my younger self that it's gonna be hard and it might even hurt. The benefits of being able to play an instrument really are amazing through the rest of your life. So if you can get past that first bit, then it's just the best. <laughs> My strong 
purpose, music for experience was playing with my friends my own music because I was feeling like the hardest boss, I don't know. So there are really great memories from the big gigs and the small ones as well. They're, they're equally as special, just in very different ways. I mean, being on the road and playing gigs is always special. It is always special when something is happening between the audience the, and the musicians on stage. I always try to enjoy, to give and to get the best of it. So that's why I can only say that I just love every single one of them. This is the rhythm of the night. If you learn an instrument, you always have something new to experience, to combine new things. And this is what makes the whole thing so interesting for me, because I know I will never be, in my mind, I will never be at the end. I think that my main goal in music would be able to do this for the rest of my life, but also to enjoy it as much as I enjoy it right now. Even though not all of them may come true, but hard work always pays off. I want music to never become a chore for me. I'm gonna to have to be active in, in keeping that exciting for myself and, and doing different projects and and I'm just, I'm looking forward to them all.